Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Selena Pereira. I love makeup and I'm from Sydney, Australia. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I do my brows. I've had so many requests for a um, really in-depth brow tutorial. So I wanted to record how I do my brows because most of the time I start my videos with my brows already done um, because I like to apply them before I do my foundation so I look like I've got something to my face and also because they do take a little bit of time so for you to see them every single time is kind of boring so if you guys want to see how i do my brows then please keep on watching all right guys so i'm going to start off with um applying some brow gel this is just the anastasia beverly hills clear brow gel i'm just going to apply that straight through the brows and basically all i'm doing here is just um trying to get the brows into place just so that way i can see kind of what direction they're going in and um, where I've got to fill in a little bit easier. So once I've let that product settle in for a little bit, I like to let it dry a little bit before I go in with my um, brow pencil. So literally all I do is I like to follow the natural shape of my brows and then just add on to that. So I don't like to overdraw them too much. So what I'll do is I'll kind of like look down into my mirror, that way I can see kind of where the edge of my brow is. And I'll start off by drawing just some very light strokes. And what I'll do is I'll curve out the brow and pull down and that's basically how I get the shape of my arch I'm going to build on that a little bit more as we go but that's how I get the base shape I'm just going to round that off a little bit more and just clean that up a little bit more All right, and then I like to go on to the other brass so I like to work on the um, tails and the arches first and then I'll go in and fill in the rest because the rest is pretty easy for me to fill in it's just the arch where I've got the most problem or where I guess it's the most time consuming for me so I just like to go in and do the other brow as well And I try to hold the mirror kind of close enough where I can see, but also far enough where, far enough away where I can um, see the other brow and kind of match them two together. Keep in mind also that your brows are um, sisters and not twins, so they will not look exactly the same. But you do want to obviously try to make them um, as um, similar as possible. Just building up the um, arch of the brow. And don't worry if you make any mistakes because we're going to go in later on and clean it up with concealer. So don't worry about that too much. And as you can see, I don't have any foundation on. I always do my brows before foundation because I feel like this way I can get really like super messy and really go in and fill them in and not worry about, you know, stuffing up my foundation and going over it with concealer. I can really kind of just exaggerate my lines, um, exaggerate the brows as much as I want and then I can go ahead and clean them up and it's not going to affect or disrupt my foundation in any way. So now once I've got that arch to the way that I want it, I'm just going to go in and feel from the front. So I'm just going to draw like a very faint line on the very top of the brow and then I like to do the same on the bottom. So I just like to start filling in the um, bottom part of the brow, just using a small strokes until all my sparse areas are filled in. And when I'm filling in my brows, I really just like to focus in the sparse areas. I don't like to um, apply products where it's not needed. I really just like to focus on those sparse areas. We're only going to blend this out in a minute as well, so don't worry if it's patchy. It can get um, a little bit patchy um, depending on which brow pencils you're working with and what colors and pressure that you apply and all that kind of stuff. But we're going to go in and blend that out in a minute, so don't worry too much about that. All right, now I'm up to the front of the brow. Now I haven't put any product in the front of my brow as yet. I've just got this little line just above um, on both brows. Now, I personally am not a fan of the Instagram brow. And the Instagram brow is basically where it um, fades from very sparseness or very like lightness to a bit darker. So basically, this brow here is basically like an Instagram brow, the way that it looks at the moment. The reason that I don't like an Instagram brow is because if you actually look with look at someone that has full brows, they don't have a, a brow that's like that. Their brow is full from the front. And I find that for me because I do have quite dark hair and quite, quite dark features as well. I feel that it does suit me better to have um, a fuller brow look. Um, so even at the front, so I don't, I don't go in and make it super dark, but I do still feel it in quite a lot more than what um, you usually see out there on YouTube and also on Instagram. So. Basically what I like to do is I like to just draw a very faint line on the very bottom of the brow just to kind of just straighten it up a little bit. Okay, and then what I like to do is I will always draw kind of the 
ending line to my brow. So this is basically where my brow will stop. And I will do the same on this side. And then what I like to do is I like to fill in the front by doing just strokes going upwards. And again, if you stuff it up, don't worry too much because we will go in and clean it up with concealer. I'm going to do this all the way to the very, very front of the brow. I really like to go in and really fill that in because I like that look. But I do see where people with more lighter features would suit their brows being a little bit um, more like the Instagram brow um, where it's a little bit um, lighter in the front. I do see where that would um, be great for a lot of people. But for me personally, um, I'm not a big fan of look. I feel that on me it looks really draggy. Like not on other people because there are people out there that I see on Instagram that I love the way their brows look. On me it looks a little bit draggish. And... With my dark features, I think that um, this kind of just more full brow suits me better. Alright, so once I'm kind of happy with the shape and with how it's filled in, I'm going to go in and just blend out um, that product. And you can see that I haven't cleaned up, you know, kind of these top parts of the brow. So don't worry about that. We're going to clean that up in a minute. Um, now, basically what I do is I take my spoolie and I really like the spoolie that's on the end of the um, brow is. And basically what I do is I just brush through the brows. This is basically just going to help blend the um, product so that you don't have any kind of blotchy um, areas. Um, and I don't know if you can see, but for example, this brow here, everything looks great except for this kind of area here where I don't have any hair. It looks very tattooed and very penciled in. So it's that kind of um, blotchiness that I'm talking about. So I just like to go in and just soften that a little bit. And I just do that with this fully. If you also feel that you've filled in the front of the brow too much, that's also where you can um, blend that out a little bit by using the spoolie. It'll help to just remove some products. Once I'm happy with that, I'm going to go in and carve them out. So what I'm going to do is I'm taking just some of my concealer. This is just the Tarte Shape Tape. Um, I'm in the color. What color am I in again? In the color Light Neutral. And I'm taking, this is a flat brush from Morphe. Um, it's the M432. And basically I'm just going to load that brush up with the concealer. So just like that. And I'm going to use that to carve out the brow. So what I like to do is I like to start off with the bottom. Take that directly underneath the brows. And I'll just go along the bottom line of the brows. And so what the concealer does is it first of all, um, obviously gets rid of any um, mistakes you've made or any imperfections in your brows. Um, it's a good way to clean up your mistakes and all that kind of stuff. But it also does a couple of other things. It conceals any um, redness or anything that you might have going on on your brow bone. Um, so for example, like if you have gotten your brows waxed or if you um, pluck your brows and you've got any redness from that, it's going to help to conceal that. Um, but it also acts as a um, brow bone highlight too, which is awesome. So today I'm going to show you how I um, carve them out to the max, um, which is what I do pretty much on most days. Um, but when I feel like I want to be a little bit more natural, I will um, kind of just stop at just like the under part of the brow. So um, now what I'm doing is I'm just cleaning up just that front part of the brow where that line is that we left to kind of stop our brow. And don't worry, I'm gonna blend all of these. Uh, I'm gonna blend all this concealer out in a minute properly. All right, so now for the top part of the brow, I'm actually gonna lay my brush down flat this way. And what I like to do is I literally just like to take that across and just go around the brow. And when I get to the tail, I like to just um, turn it back over and use the actual um, tip of the brush. And then for that inner part of the brow, I just take a little bit more product and just clean that up as well. All right, so after I'm happy with the shape and the way that they look, I'm just gonna go in and blend that out. So I'm just gonna use the same brush and I'm just gonna go over all of those areas that I applied concealer and just blend that concealer out. Now, once I'm totally happy with that, I'm just gonna go back in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel and I'm just going to use that and just brush those hairs up again. All right guys, so that is how I do my brows.
so you guys that is it for this video i hope that you enjoyed learning how i do my brows if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel so that way you don't miss out on anything and leave me a comment down below on what you want to see next once again you guys i love you and i'll see you on the next one Mwah.